Hi, my name's Rachel Camilleri. I am a British abstract artist working with acrylic and spray paint on canvas in a variety of scales. I currently live in Marbella on the south coast of Spain, where I have a studio in La Cala de Mias. I moved from the UK to Spain 17 months ago with my husband and three children. Prior to this, I grew up and lived in Salford in Manchester in the northwest of England. I previously worked from a home studio, which was actually in my garden. My background, I would say, is very influential to my work. Coming from a vibrant city like Manchester with um, a thriving art scene, I feel that my art is heavily influenced from the colourful murals and the graffiti walls spotted around my home city. I think this really influenced my decision to use spray paints as well as acrylic to give my artworks an urban edge. Um, I was creative from a very early age. I was sent to dance classes from the age of five because I was known to have too much energy. This was followed by singing and drama. And at school, I excelled at art um, and went on to study at college too. And basically, I think I just found a love of all things creative uh, during my childhood which eventually led me to study media at university and directed me into a career in te television production, casting and marketing for many years. I've always had a great imagination um, and enjoyed sto writing stories as a child, which I think fueled my eagerness to pursue drama and eventually work in media and casting. I think I just always enjoyed expressing myself and I was always encouraged to do so by my parents. And whilst I was working, I always continued painting as a hobby. However, that was until 2010 when I lost my mum to um, breast cancer. I completely stopped painting. I felt like I wasn't able to do so any something that made me so happy when at the time I was feeling totally devastated by a loss and then I became a mum to my eldest child a year after my mum passed away so my priorities in life totally changed and painting at the time just wasn't on my agenda however if you fast forward nine years and add two more sons uh, to my family, I really started to feel like the time was right to start painting again. It often felt like there was something building up inside of me that kind of needed to be released. So when my youngest son went off to nursery at the age of one, I decided to put paint to canvas and, and give it a go again. So in 2019, I started painting again and decided to set up an Instagram page to share my work. I didn't actually think it would grow to where it is now, um, but I soon got lots of opportunities coming my way to exhibit and collaborate with companies and sell my art internationally. And I'm so grateful for everybody who has supported my passion and allowed me to do these things. Um, I currently live in the south of Spain. I feel that having a more outdoor lifestyle now has allowed my work to become influenced even more so by nature. I still definitely have an urban edge to my abstract artworks, but I can definitely see that some of my paintings are beginning to soften and take on a more gentle composition than some of my past artworks. I am very much an intuitive artist. I create what I feel, which is why I think my paintings vary so much in terms of colours, textures and mark making. I am influenced by emotions and I always allow my intuition to guide me on the journey when I'm when I'm painting. Each mark that I make and each colour always determines the next. There's 
definitely rarely a pal am unless I am completely um doing a commissioned artwork with a client's brief uh but generally I go into an artwork with a very very loose plan of what I'm going to do I am inspired by life um people architecture nature music uh, emotions, the ups and downs of life. And also, I'm definitely influenced by other artists' work and inspired by their work. I am focusing at the moment on having fun in the studio and allowing myself to be free to explore new techniques. The biggest challenge, I would say, as an artist is being true to yourself and not allowing others to influence you to create art that isn't true to who you are. I also feel another challenge for artists is um, the challenge of being seen. We all want to share our work and we all want people to experience our work. And sometimes social media doesn't always make this quest easier. Advice to my younger self would be stop worrying what people think and have confidence in yourself, which is actually something I still have to tell myself now. Um, I rarely buy my art equipment from general art shops. You will see me in home stores, usually in the kitchen section, as there's always great tools for creating interesting marks. One of my most unconventional tools, which I use in nearly all my paintings, is a pizza tray. I use it as my kind of signature stencil because it makes such a great mark and I think it kind of divi- defines my work. Um. I don't tend to listen to music when I'm in the studio. I like it to be silent. However, I do listen to music on the way into the studio and afterwards, and that definitely influences my paintings. Um, You will see from my social media that I like to use a lot of music in my reels and my posts. And I do actually think through this aspect of it a lot. I think music production is similar to painting. Um, There's definitely a journey you go on. There's a beginning, a middle and an end. And both cause emotions in people. And I like to incorporate music with my work because I believe it adds to the story or the feeling of a painting. I love seeing people's reactions to my work. I think the best reaction comes from collectors who have commissioned me to create artworks for their homes. They get to call the shots on colours, textures and the size of the artwork. And then I go away and put my style on it. Commissions are definitely a two-way process. There's a lot of photographing and videoing of each stage of the process in order to get feedback from the client. But the most rewarding reaction is when they finally say that they love it. And for me, delivering the artwork is just the best feeling and spurs me on to create more art. I would say my main aim when I create work is to hopefully stir emotion in people when they look at it. And one of the goals for me when I share my work is not just to get somebody to buy it. I mean, that obviously is a bonus, but I want to inspire others and motivate other people to be creative because it really is so important that everybody has a little bit of creativity for themselves. And it doesn't have to be the obvious creative stuff. It could be doing decoration, writing poems, being, you know, a hairstylist or wearing expressive clothing. It doesn't have to be the obvious forms of creativity. Um, But I do believe it's important that everybody has some way of expressing themselves. 
I also hope that my artworks inspire young artists, children of primary and secondary age. I think art is so needed in the education system. Art is a great way of relaxing and releasing stress. And that's why I think abstract art is an important genre within our education because it really does allow people to be free. And in my opinion, there is definitely no right or wrongs with abstract art. And that's why I think it's immensely important um, to have that subject run alongside uh, subjects like maths and science and English.